What if you could upload your mind into a computer and live forever? Sounds like science fiction, right? But digital brains and AI consciousness might be closer than we think. Imagine a world where your memories, thoughts, and even your personality could continue long after your biological body fades. This is not just an idea. Scientists, tech giants, and futurists are actively working to make it a reality. In this video, we're diving deep into the world of digital immortality. How does mind uploading work? Which companies and scientists are leading the charge? And most importantly, should we be excited or terrified? Would you upload your mind if it meant eternal life? Let's explore what's possible, what's coming, and the dangers of digital immortality. Stick around. This might just change your perspective on life and death. The idea of transferring human consciousness into a machine has been around for decades in science fiction, but today, it's moving beyond fiction. Tech pioneers and neuroscientists are developing ways to digitally copy and store human minds. The goal? To create a digital replica of a person, one that can think, feel, and evolve. Brain scanning technology, advanced MRI, neural mapping, and nanotechnology could one day scan and replicate every neural connection in a brain. The Human Connectum Project is already mapping out neural pathways in incredible detail. Neural simulation, AI, and quantum computing could simulate thought processes inside a digital environment. The Blue Brain Project has successfully recreated portions of a rat's brain in a digital model. Brain-Computer Interfaces Companies like Neuralink are working on direct communication between the brain and machines. BCIs are already allowing paralyzed individuals to control robotic limbs using only their thoughts. In theory, your consciousness could live on a hard drive, interact with loved ones, or even be uploaded into a robotic body. But who is actually making this happen? Elon Musk's Neuralink, developing brain implants to enhance human cognition and potentially digitize consciousness. Google's DeepMind, creating my models that mimic human intelligence and memory. OpenAI, advancing neural networks capable of human-like reasoning. MIT and DARPA, conducting research on brain storage and digital thought processing. Real-world experiments that show progress. Brain implants helping paralyzed people regain movement. AI-powered chatbots trained on real people's data to mimic their personality. Personalities. Scientists simulating small portions of human brain networks and labs. Could a digital brain really be you or just a convincing copy? Will we achieve digital consciousness? Some experts predict we could reach this milestone within the next 30 to 50 years. Philosophical and ethical debates. The ship of Theseus. Problem. If your mind is copied, but your biological brain remains, which version is truly you? Would a digital mind have self-awareness or just mimic consciousness? The risks of a digital mind. Could an AI copy of you replace the real you? What if corporations controlled your digital self? Could someone hack your consciousness? Imagine waking up in a computer and realizing you're no longer in your body. Would that be heaven or a nightmare? Could digital brains create super intelligence, making humans obsolete? Will we merge with AI, creating a new form of existence? If successful, this could mean immortality, infinite knowledge, and the end of aging. But are we ready for this future? As we continue our deep dive into the concept of digital immortality, let's explore the core scientific challenges that make mind uploading a complex and daunting task. While the technology is advancing rapidly, the human brain remains one of the most intricate and least understood systems in existence. The human brain contains approximately 86 billion neurons, each connected to thousands of other neurons, forming an intricate web of electrical and chemical signals. These connections create our thoughts, emotions, memories, and consciousness itself. In order to successfully upload a human mind, we must replicate not just the structure of the brain, but also its functionality. The Human Connectomy Project is one of the largest efforts to map the brain's complex network of neurons. Scientists use advanced imaging techniques, such as diffusion MRI and electron microscopy, to reconstruct neural pathways. However, even the best scans available today can only capture a fraction of the brain's complexity. The Blue Brain Project and the European Human Brain Project are leading efforts to simulate brain processes using artificial intelligence. Researchers have successfully simulated small sections of the brain, but a full brain simulation is still far beyond current computational capabilities. To replicate the brain digitally, we would need quantum level precision in processing massive amounts of real-time data. Memory encoding is not just about neurons. 
It also involves biochemical processes. Even if we create a perfect digital copy of a brain, will it retain the memories, thoughts, and personality of the original person? This raises a critical question. Would a digital brain simply mimic the original, or would it truly feel like you? One of the most promising technologies bringing us closer to digital immortality is the brain-computer interface, BCI. BCIs allow direct communication between the brain and external devices, making it possible to transfer thoughts and control machines with the mind. Neuralink is developing ultra-thin, flexible brain implants capable of reading and writing neural activity. Early experiments have allowed paralyzed individuals to control computers and robotic limbs using their thoughts. Future applications may involve recording, transferring, and even altering memories. OpenAI and DeepMind are working on AI systems that can predict and replicate human thought patterns. By training AI on massive data sets of human interactions, we are developing systems capable of responding like real people. Some believe that AI could eventually become an extension of our own consciousness. Scientists are exploring ways to record and store thoughts directly from brainwave activity. If successful, this could allow people to transfer thoughts between individuals or store their consciousness for future use. The big question remains, if your consciousness is uploaded into a digital system, will it still be you or just a highly advanced imitation? Even if we achieve mind uploading, the implications are staggering. Would we truly be immortal? Or would we be creating a world where artificial versions of ourselves replace biological life? Neuroscientists and philosophers debate whether a digital replica of a brain would be self-aware. The concept of qualia, our subjective experience of thoughts and emotions, remains a major barrier in understanding whether a machine can feel consciousness. Some scientists believe consciousness emerges from complex computations, meaning a sufficiently advanced AI could develop self-awareness. Others argue that no matter how complex the simulation, it will always lack true consciousness. If you upload your mind to a machine, does the digital version become the real you? Or are you simply creating a copy that thinks it is you? If your biological body continues to exist after your mind is uploaded, would there be two versions of you? If a digital version of you continues to evolve while your biological self dies, who carries on your identity? What if multiple copies of your mind exist simultaneously? Which one is you? If companies develop the technology to store and manipulate human consciousness, who owns your digital self? Could corporations monetize, edit, or even delete your consciousness at will? Could a hacker alter your memories or personality? What if someone cloned your mind and used it against you? Cybersecurity would become more critical than ever in a world where human consciousness exists in digital form. If we transition from biological beings to digital entities, do we lose our humanity? Would emotions, creativity, and free will still exist in digital form? Or would they become programmable behaviors? Are we creating a utopia of digital immortality? Or a dystopian nightmare where human minds are controlled, copied, and potentially erased? Some experts believe humans will eventually merge with AI, creating hybrid beings that transcend biological limitations. This could lead to superintelligence, increased cognitive abilities, and access to infinite knowledge. If we can upload our minds, we could exist in virtual worlds where time, space, and physical limitations no longer apply. Would people choose to live entirely in simulated realities, abandoning the physical world altogether? If human consciousness becomes digital, death could become a thing of the past. But would this be a blessing or a curse? If no one dies, what happens to resources, social structures, and human purpose? The of consciousness can be uploaded. Could we revive people who have already passed away? Some scientists suggest that if enough data about a person's brain and personality exist, an AI could reconstruct a version of them. This could change how we think about life, loss, and the meaning of existence. The potential of mind uploading is both exciting and frightening. It could grant us eternal life, limitless intelligence, and freedom from the limitations of biology. Yet, it also threatens to disrupt everything we know about identity, ethics, and human nature. For now, mind uploading remains in the realm of theory and experimentation. But as technology advances, the time will come when we must decide. Do we embrace digital immortality? Or do we accept the natural limits of human life? Some may see mind uploading as the next step in evolution, while others may view it as the ultimate loss of humanity. The debate is far from over. Would you upload your mind if given the chance? 
believe digital immortality is the key to the future? Or are we playing with something we don't fully understand? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. This is Tech AI Vision, bringing you the future of technology. Subscribe for more deep dives into the innovations shaping our world. The future is coming. Are you ready?